Hi everyone, my name's Natalie and I've had my allotment about four or five months now. This is my third allotment um, and I just wanted to show you around so you can see a bit of what I've got growing here. This is my polytunnel, it's my first polytunnel I've ever had. Um, it's great for growing seedlings, as you can see I've got some more radishes growing down here. Everything grows so quickly. Um, these here at the front are aubergine. Um, I've never grown aubergine before so I'm still waiting to see for when they actually start growing aubergines. Um, and there's a couple of other little plants just down here which are also aubergines just here but they don't seem to be quite the same as these ones. I've got a few chilli plants down here amongst some weeds and then these are carrots in here. Uh, along the left side there I've got cucumbers which are just taking off and um, getting the first few cucumbers on them. These are all two or three different varieties of tomatoes and then along the right side here we've got some different courgette plants. Um, I've also got just here these are pointy peppers um, which are just starting to get peppers growing on them now and then I've got a few cactus uh, cacti <laughs> Um, that somebody on the allotment gave to me uh, which has got some really beautiful flowers <clears throat> if I can I'll try and attach a photo so you can see because they're like massive pinky sort of flowers so these are those lovely flowers I was saying about on the cactus I had um, excess tomatoes I planted some out here um, these are some of the marigolds that I've grown from seed which have just come into flower which look really nice actually and then I had a few other little tomatoes which have just been in pots which I've managed to just about find a space to get in the ground now. Uh, these are peas and these are sprouts which I was given when they were you know only about five or six inches tall which have really pushed out in the last few days. These are dwarf beans which have just started flowering so as you can see there's some beans growing just here now. Um, corn on the cob. Uh, these not quite sure they are um possibly butternut squash possibly melon possibly a different type of squash um you know what it's like when the labels get messed up here's some of my marigolds which are going to look like these ones i've uh, got loads of potatoes all over here I've planted a few sunflowers in between and these spring onions are ones that i rescued which were rejects from someone else's plot um just got some other flowers and a few reject tomatoes here that I didn't want to allow to die. Over here this is all a bit of a surprise. <clears throat> um, we think they're squash but again we've lost the labels <laughs> so these could be anything but I'll just show you what they look like at the moment because they're just starting to grow and I think they're squash. Somebody said to me they thought they were round courgettes but I haven't actually had any seeds for those so it'll be interesting to see what they grew into. I've got some Swiss chard here, uh, there's a tree spinach there which I thought was a really nice colour. got some nasturtiums down there which I need something for it to climb up. can't remember what these are called but these are flowers. Um, these are some more onions which I rescued which are very very small so I'm not sure how they're going to go but they're just starting to kind of take root but yeah they were kind of on their last legs so I thought I'd try and rescue them. Over here we've got lettuce, swede, spinach, sorry not spinach, um, beetroot <clears throat> and radishes and there's some more cucumber plants there. These, I'm not sure what they are, <clears throat> those two are cucumber and I'll try and fit in some little flowers along where I've been planting. These are all sprouts and swede <clears throat> and a couple of courgette plants there. Along here under the white netting I've got different types of cabbage and cauliflowers and kohlrabi. Um, I did have the black tunnels over them but they were just squashing the plants down too much but they're getting quite tall now so I swapped them over and now that's got the netting on it. Just held it down with some some old um, mesh that my partner had from his workshop. These are broccoli, as you can see, even though I tried to cover them up before with some netting, they got eaten. So now I've done this so in the hope that it will protect them a bit more. Another batch of potatoes here. And then along here, this is where I had all my onions, which I've just pulled the last of them up. Um, these little plants, I think a cucumber, which I rescued again from the rejects, but they were in such tiny little fromage fray pots that they're very small for, but I'm hoping they'll still you know start to push out quite quickly and there's some more tomatoes there 
I've got some garlic here which hasn't really done too grey. I mean, it's growing but it's not ready yet. Um, I'm not sure. They look like they're kind of ready to be pulled but they're not. I've got some more beans and runner beans here. This is my second batch of runner beans because the first batch died within two days. Um, some more potatoes. This one I had Charlotte potatoes in but I've just pulled all those up so now I've put a few onions in that I was given and some leek seeds which haven't yet come up yet. Um, and then over here some more rejects that I've rescued. Uh, some cabbage plants and um, they're quite small as you can see but I've just put them in here for now to get them in the ground. Um, more potatoes here, sunflowers which are getting quite big, they're probably about a metre tall some of them now. These here are artichoke and they are pretty tall, this is probably about six foot now. Um, and just beside it I've got some thornless blackberries but they haven't produced anything yet. But I've also in these pots just got some different mixtures of um, some different flowers I was growing from seed. So it'll be nice to see those when they come into flower. Um, and then just some last remaining potatoes that I had, I've just put into this tub. Um, but yeah, um, I forgot to show you. This pepper plant I was given by one of my neighbors here at the allotment and it had flowers on it. And now it's got um, these lovely peppers growing. And so they'll soon be ready to pick. Um, if anyone has any advice about aubergines uh, please let me know um, these are all grown from the same seed packet but um, somebody told me they're probably a different cult cultiv cultivar I think is the word um, I'm not an expert it by any means with my gardening I just kind of learn as I go which as we all do and it's experimenting but if there's any tips I know about taking the side shoots out but I just wondered how long it takes um, until they should start to produce some some flowers and start growing the vegetables because uh, these are getting pretty tall I'd say they're probably about one and a half meters tall anyway that's it from here so in here I've got beetroots spinach beet uh, parsnips and some different types of lettuce they're quite nice actually um, they're like a speckled type one quite nice uh, I've got kale in here and I've had different types of lettuce. I've had round lettuce, little gem and romaine. My favourite one that I've grown, which I've, it's the first time growing lettuce for me, is the romaine lettuce because they, they turned out so lovely. They were really nice. Um, and I had some radish in here which had been pulled up. So there's the sunflowers again, as you can see. They're looking very healthy. Um, yes, I think that's basically what I've taken you around the allotment now. Um, that's my compost bin over there, which hasn't been bolted together yet. I've just tied it with string because that's all I can manage to do for the time being. I've got a small section left other than this section here where the onions were. So that if I need to plant anything else, just round the side of my polytunnel, I cleared this area yesterday, which was full of weeds. So I'm thinking I could either plant into that or put some pots there. Um, but it's still a decent amount to get some plants growing. I could always put a few bits around the back if I wanted. But um, it's that lovely time now where everything's coming into bloom, everything's starting to take off and grow and you know I only started this really in March so hey, for my June, it's only been about four months. It just shows you how much you can achieve in that space of time um, just little and often. I mean I don't spend hours down here but I try and pop down every day or most days even if it's just a potter about, do a bit of weeding, do a bit of watering, a um, bit of planting. Um, I put this little structure up the other day because I realised that these are going to take up a lot of space and I didn't want to move them so I just added some canes. I mean, um, it's nothing special but it's just to give it a bit more strength um, so that they can climb up. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, please comment below. But, um, basically, I've, I've enjoyed gardening since I was a kid, really, from about the age of nine after my granddad passed away. I got really into houseplants and I would learn them by their Latin names and then I would, you know, like spider plants, things like that. I would grow them to try and get more plants and 
my room used to have so many and then we used to grow a lot of flowers and things and tomatoes and that from home from seed and um but as you get older i kind of moved away from that and didn't do any gardening um but now i'm finding my roots again and i just love being down here it just makes me happy just knowing you've kind of created this and the colors and everything and it's just it's just lovely watching it all bloom and knowing that you know whatever you're eating whatever you're picking you've grown yourself that's the enjoyment of it for me anyway hope you enjoyed this video um comment below and if you'd like to see more videos please let me know bye bye